All righty. Uh, thanks for your patience. This is uh, Canada Tortoise Capital Nightly Strategy Podcast for November 13th, 2014. Uh, whoops, that's not good. All right, let's. Uh, we just had a, a good coaching session tonight. I want to hit a few things. I have to rerun the reports. It looks like um, we were looking at some trading systems. Um, this first one. This is a results of a uh, intraday trading system. Um, it's got 30 total trades. This is from one of the coaching clients that just started in uh, cohort four. And so it's got 30 total trades. The best trade is plus seven R. The worst trade is minus 1.69. It's got 24 wins and six losses. That's an 80% win rate. Uh, there's no scratches. The average win is 1.69. The average loss is minus 0.9. So that's, that's a four to one win rate. And then about um, just under two to one on the payoff. Uh, so we'll take that. It's got a pretty good system quality number and uh, NSQN. Now, what's interesting, you know, the daily average win is the net for the daily is 2.3. If you then take a look at uh, what is the daily roll up, um, those 30 trades were performed. Uh, over eight days. Uh, the single best day was a 15 hour win day. The worst day was plus 0.7. So all eight days were winning days for a hundred percent win rate. And the average daily collection was 5.67. And so when you start, when you get multiple trades a day and you have a um, high winning rate and reasonable payoff rate, um, those daily numbers start looking amazing for the system quality number and then the, the NSQN. So that's pretty good. We would take that. Uh, there was another one that was briefed. Uh, this one. Uh, this was looking at 46 days worth of trading. So that's two months of daily trades expressed over 10 weeks. So the number of winning days was 24. The number of losing days was 22. So that's basically a coin flip, 52 to 48. The average win was 5.4. The average loss was minus 2.5. So that is about a if you look at it strictly on the daily basis, um, that's a 50-50 coin flip, but which pays better than two to one. So you like that. You'd take that one every day. But when you start aggregating that over weeks, what you get is uh, six winning weeks and four losing weeks. So now when you look at the weekly, you have a three to two wins to lose wins to loss. And then the payoff ratio is 16 to five. So it's better than three to one. So when you have a win rate, that's better than 50% and a favorable reward to risk payoff, uh, you start wanting to take as many of those trades as you can, and then just trade them in a routine fashion. Uh, a third trader that we had from yesterday's uh, coaching session, he's doing simple intraday trades, no overnight risk. And this is what his cumulative R looks like over the last four months. Each one of these is a weekly bar. 
And during the sideways choppy portion, it made money, lost a little money, but basically didn't lose. And now he made another seven today. And so that, that his chart is now starting to look like this. And that's pretty good consistency all the way through, through multiple different kinds of uh, market conditions. So we're pretty happy about that. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to rerun the reports it just, unless, it, uh, unless it's going to allow me to come back. Uh, what I'm going to do is post the reports later. We got uh, basically market is in continued to be in over, uh, over bought conditions. Um, I will say that we have um, quite a few auto framers that are still in good shape. Uh, the uh, marijuana closed really strong again. Uh, these are all the ones that are better than two to one. So I would be looking at Caterpillar, Alcoa, Cliff, Coca-Cola, uh, emerging markets in Mexico, Um all of those are looking pretty good for follow throughs tomorrow. They're all better than the uh, reward to risk ratio in the S and P, which is closing near its 10 day high. So there's not much to choose, choose from there. Uh, the upside is really powerful. Um, the daily, uh, daily sniper trade uh, looked like this one today. Um, this is uh, Disney. And while the market was selling off a little this morning, Disney found its little morning hook early, and when it broke north of the 10-minute high, that's the OR10, we took the standard entry, standard stop at the PSAR flip, and all that did was just cruise north and then exit when the PSAR hit, so we're out here, which gives us on one unit of reward, one unit of risk, I should say, one, two, three units of reward, so uh, we'll take that one all day. Uh, long term market is in, um, you know, pushing that all time high. And uh, it narrowed a little bit today, but it's right at 600 and getting ready to push higher. Um, the, uh, the market health check on the last 20 or 30 days looks like this. And we've kind of stabilized in here which makes this, this doji a perfect compound critical state. You have a compressed range. You're right at the top. It has not failed further. So any breakout above 600 or below about 594, that's a $6 range right in here, about 1%. So pretty narrow range. I'm ready to play the breakout in either direction. Um, my spider sense is that failure to follow through uh, is likely to uh, revert to a test back to about 585 and then the Bollinger Band mean at 580. So uh, all systems go. Um, uh, monitor your stops. Be ready for upside breakouts. And uh, we will get this published and posted. I'll get the reports pushed into Patreon here shortly. Uh, take good care and we shall see you tomorrow.